Hi, dear friends. Chris here. I hope you all are doing well. Um, today, I will be doing an unbagging for you for the second time from DIYdigital.com. Um, I think the first time went so great. Um, you know, I got a good response from, from my viewers and my wonderful subscribers. Thank you all so much. Um, and I did one of them and I really loved it. And I'm, I think, I guess the company must have been happy with the, the video and maybe its response that DIY Digital asked me, DIY Digital Art, I, I always forget the art, uh, asked me to do another unboxing for them. So I said, of course. And so again, I went back to their site. I looked through their stuff um, and I found some things that I really liked. Um, I will tell you uh, about the shipping now. Uh, let's see our initial hit when uh, the representative contacted me and then I responded back and then he responded back with the okay and everything that was all in one day that was on February 16th um, so it was settled really quickly um, and then it was shipped on the 18th and I got it on the 27th so that was super fast shipping Again, I want to say I don't know how shipping would be for anybody else because this is a review. I don't know if it was faster or not, um, but certainly shipping toward to me was really great and I appreciate it and I appreciate them uh, letting me do this again. Um, again, I wanted to say on their about their site that they have multiple um, crafts on there you know they have cross stitch and beaded embroidery they have tools and accessory for that stuff um they also have things like jigsaw puzzles they have paint by numbers um paper craft stuff and the wax stamps things um that stuff really isn't for me so i really don't um excuse me i don't really dabble into that part of the site too much because I'm not really interested in that um, stuff but they do have but I have checked it out and there are quite a bit of things that they do offer under those crafts so if you're interested in any of those crafts give it a give them a shot um, or a lookout I should say um, they're really a really affordable uh, site I, I, I and I really think the quality is great so I'm really happy with DIY digital art I really think they're great um, they also do custom diamond paintings, and they have over 9,000 diamond paintings, um, ready-made diamond paintings. So, you know, who knows? Maybe once I'll try a custom, if they ever want to work with me again. <laughs> you know? Um, so, yeah, I guess that's just about it. Again, it was really great. I really appreciate them reaching out again. Um, again, it's DIY, DIYDigitalArt.com. Everything you see in the video will be linked in my description box. And um, I just want to thank them. And I want to thank you viewers and subscribers uh, for sticking with me. I really appreciate it. Thank you so much. And now on to the unboxing. Bye, guys. Hi, dear friends. Chris here. How are you all? I hope you all are doing wonderful. So I'm filming and unbagging today. Woo! Um, it is March 1st, 2021. Um, I don't know. I have to do two unbagging, so I don't know if you'll see this one first or the other one first. <sighs> Excuse me a second. So, um, I did cut this open just so I had to check to see what company it was from, and I found it out. Um, I didn't peek at the canvases, so I wanted to you know, have the experience with you first. Um, so let's get right to it. So I can see this one sticking out right here and this is what I know what it is. And that's the one I want to save for last. So let's just take that out and put that down on the floor. Okay, because the other ones are more regular size ones. That one, excuse me, is a little bit larger. So here we have, we're going to have four canvases from DIYDigitalArt.com. This is their sec, this is my second time reviewing from them. They were so, well, I'm hoping they were so happy with 
my video and possibly the response it got and maybe some orders um, that they got from it that they asked me to review some more products. So here we go. Um, I have no idea which goes where, so let's just choose the tiny one first. Okay. And of course, if you've seen my previous videos, I have completed a DIY digital art canvas already. It was the Ravens in the circle. It was a square and it turned out really great. As I said before, it was my favorite square I've ever done uh, the experience of doing it. Oop. Okay, so I could see what this is. I could tell already. Oh. Let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, got another bag to open. We got a bag within a bag within a bag. Now, I will say this is an oft seen um, canvas, but I've always wanted it. I've never been, I've never gotten it before. But now the opportunity came upon me to receive it. I decided, you know what, let's get it. So here we have a toolkit, basically a standard one, you know, the tray, the wax, a dime painting pen, and they, this one, they sent those black plastic tweezers. Um, and they probably did that. I'm just going to take this over here to roll it back a little bit more because it's just the end is just sticking up a little too much. But they probably sent those tweezers because we have a special shaped diamond painting here. I'm going to show you the canvas before the diamonds, just so you, because the diamonds will probably give it away. Okay, so are we ready? And here we go. Look at him. A beautiful, beautiful, beautiful peafowl. Um, all, all, again, what I love about th this kind of, this one, almost, probably 95% mm, of the thing is covered, uh, of the thing, of the canvas is covered. Uh, very little of the, uh, you know, will you see of the background. It is, again, it's a peafowl, it's a special shape, it's a 40 by 30. Um, that's the canvas size. Let's take a quick look. So this is about a 34 by a 24. So the drill area is about 24 by 34. There are 13 shapes and drills. Uh, let's check the stickies. Good. Good sticky. Let's get you up close. Okay. Yeah, really pretty. Now let's Look at these. So here we start off with clear rhinestones, and then we have a pretty green rhinestone into some teals and blue rhinestones, regular size rhinestones. A bit of a, a salmon color rhinestone, a yellowish golden rhinestone, blue, and a, a lighter blue. All rhinestones, all regular size. Then we get to these. This is a white AB. Beautiful white AB. And these are beautiful blue ABs. So white AB, blue AB, and these pretty... Um, iridescent type 
dr drops. And then we have two different sizes of peacock um, diamonds. This is the larger one. And these are the smaller ones. Smaller ones go in the red area. The larger one goes in the blue area. Oh, just beautiful. Like I've said, I've wanted this for so long. And I've seen it on so many sites. But it's finally mine. <laughs> okay, let me just label real quick. Um, just in case I forgot to say, because I don't remember, um, this is, again, it's a, th well, the, the whole canvas size is 30 by 40. Um, it's a, and it was 475 from DIY Digital to Art. And again, 13 colors, good sticky, everything lovely. Okay. Now, let's move on to the next small one. Oh, this one I can put hair apart. Now, by the size of this, I know, oh, yep, I know what it is. Now, last time I got the, I'm going to have to, ooh, this is a little bit more creased uh, standard toolkit. Um... The last time I received stuff from canvases from DIY Digital Art to review, I did three rounds and a square. This time I have done two special shapes with you know, the first ones you're going to see. A third one is a full round, and the fourth one I'm a little bit not sure of and I'll explain that when we get there all right so here is our next one something I've seen a lot too okay now I have to pull this up to flatten it some more to try to get it a little more flat So I decided to take a chance with this one because, to be honest, um, I usually wouldn't have bought this this on my own. I did this because of the because I was interested in it. I really liked it, but I knew I would never buy it myself. So that's why I got it because do, of doing the review. Um, basically, because it is a partial. Um, the thing is, it is a partial. It's pretty, but the part it's a fairly small partial as far as drill area goes. And I'm somebody who likes to get partials as much drill area as possible. Um, and I'm not and I'm not opposed to partials so much. Um, and I also didn't realize well, I don't know if I realized it. I, I must have um, again why I decided to take a chance on this this is a regular round it's not a rhinestone and I'm not sure if I knew that or not I and I don't know what the website says I'd have to check because I much would have preferred it as a rhinestone but there are regular drills so like I said I took a chance with this one um wow as you could see okay let me just this is supposed to be a 30 by 56 so the actual drill well the actual picture area because it's not the drill area because you don't drill any of that down there but the picture area is really fifth just about 50 51 so it's 51 by 26 so it's 51 by 26 it's three 375 
So listen, it's under four dollars. I mean, you, you you really can't quibble with that. Um, they have a key on both sides, but this one side is cut off a little bit on top. Um, and you can see, you can see the other side down here. And there are only eight colors here, and it goes from number one to eight. The code is so tiny on this. I'm gonna while I'm there, I might as well show you up close everything. So there's the key code. Here's the bottom that doesn't get anything on it. As you can see, the roses and the leaves are the only thing on here that get drilled. Um, clarity is perfectly great. I don't have one issue with any of the clear symbols. Again, they're all they're numbered one to eight. They're all you know, and they're all clear. Um, for me, once I cut the sides off and actually just leave it to the picture, I'm sure I like it a lot better because the these the sides are kind of throwing me off in my mind. Uh, how I because it's a partial, you know. That's just how my mind works. Um, but like I said, honestly, I thought, even though I knew the size of it, I knew it was a 30 by 56, in my mind, how my mind works, again, I'm kind of loony that way, I actually thought thought it would be a whole lot bigger, or longer, I should say. I knew it was going to be th skinny, but I actually thought it would probably be almost double the size. Again, that's not the company's issue, that's my mind issue. So I didn't realize it would be that small, but again, for 375, this is a great what I would think a starter kit, honestly, for somebody. So if you know somebody who maybe would like to get into diamond painting, or you want to introduce it to them, or if you yourself are just looking to to start and figuring out the the whole what the whole deal is about. Again, for less than $4 for, of this partial, it's a pretty, you know, it's a good starter painting. Um, again, of course I'm going to do it. And since it's a partial, it's so small. Again, I might do the, this of all of them that I've received. I might um, do this one first in this batch because it'll done, get done real quick. Actually, that's what I'm going to do. This will get done quickly from this batch to show it off to you to see. Because I'm interested to see how it will look when I have it done and I'll cut all the sides off and everything, you know. Um, so, yeah. And it is pretty. And, again, this is something that you see a lot, on, especially on, like, AliExpress or even, the like, again, on the budget sites. They tend to have this, this design a lot. Um, but I will, like I said, I am honest about it and I do wish it was in crystals. I actually don't remember if I... See, I kind of think I thought that because I don't think I would have bought this. Well, I didn't buy it again. I'm sorry. I don't think I would have chosen it for a review if I had known it was a regular round. Again, there's not an issue, problem or anything with that. It's just my preference in something like this, especially in partials. I 99% of them I probably would want crystal rhinestones on. I'm not really a big partial person on with regular drills. That's my own personal preference though. All right, so we, they are beautiful, the colors, beautiful pinks. White and the greens. So three pink or four pinks, three greens and a white. Just label. Okay. There we go. And again, I'm sure it'll look perfectly lovely when it's done. It's just, you know, not my kind of thing. But that's all right. Um, again, it is pretty. So now let's go to number three. Now, because again, I'm whittling it down. I know exactly what this is. And I've seen somebody else do this unboxing. 
a few, what, probably, um, what was it? Maybe a week ago by now, a few days. I don't know. My time is all off. I want to say it's Whitney who did it. And I'm sorry if I'm mistaken about that. But I think she's the one who did it. I watch so many videos, I get so confused. Again, I have such a bad memory. Stop peeking. Okay. Now with this one, we have a standard toolkit, but this does have an extra wax. It does have some bags. And it does have the um, thicker, clear multi-placer on it. So if you watch my channel and you know anything about me, you know this is my style of one of my styles of art that I love. And here we go. I think I rolled it too far that time. And here we go. More pop art, pop art, pop art. And this is a pop art lady blowing a kiss. Okay. So I've just, funny enough, I just seen my wonderful soul twin Maritza. Oops, that's just some dirt, dirt from my table. No worries. Uh, un, uh, juice a couple pop arts herself. I'm glad I'm being such an influence on her. How do you like this one, Maritza? Now, uh, well, uh, let me tell you this: the the info on this first before I get into something. Um, so this is a 40 by 40. Let's measure real quick. And it is a about a 35. Yep. Drill area is 35 by 35. Whole canvas is 40 by 40. And this was, it's a full round. And it is 625 from DIYDigitalArt.com. There are 22 colors. So, you know, and like I said, I think it was Whitney who did this. And I actually, um, and she, when in her video she was saying something and I actually wrote back to her, uh, I commented um, on the background and I said, you know, what I might do or what you could do and I'm certainly probably going to do is mo all this background is white or a white color. It's not pure white. It's 35 or excuse me 3865 which is a white color or cream color yeah it's not bright white see bright white would have been a little too much I'm glad they didn't do that bright white but it is still white so I might add go through my stash of drills now the thing is with my, how I do my drills is I generally just throw them all together in a bag however I do have from I, one kit I threw out, I, I didn't even start with, uh, I should say I didn't even start on, um, because I was a custom, I was disappointed with it, and I'm like, mm, yeah, there's no way I'm going to even try to do this. So I just threw the whole canvas out before I even started with it, that it was so pixelated. Even though I did approve it and everything, uh, that's a whole other story. That's not what this is about. So I threw the canvas out, but I did keep the drills, so I might go through the drills and try to find a color that could coordinate into the background. Just uh, maybe just a little, give it some pop. Maybe I'll put, just put some rhinestones somewhere here. Maybe throw some ABs, you know, do something else just to break up the pure white background of it all. I mean, I don't mind it. It's just, I think it could be, it would be maybe just a little bit better if it was just another color or just changed up some way. Again, let, if you want to try some creative thing, if you were get if you were at home, were able to get this canvas and you were like, I really like her, but the background's just a little bit too boring for me, and I don't want to do all that white. 
Uh, just, you know, mix it up. Use some leftover drills. You can even maybe just do her first. And if you have some leftover reds or something, or blues, you know, or just make a little pattern or, you know, who knows? Get some special shapes. Try to put them in there. You know, you could just stick them in there and then work around them. You can be a, you can be a little creative too, you know, why not? I'm not all that creative a person, believe you me, I'm not. I I need to stick with patterns. That's why I love diamond painting because it tells you where to put things. But in certain th certain areas of diamond painting, I can use some creative my mindset and I'm able to do something a little different. Very nice, very sticky. Um okay. Let's look at her. Doo -doo -doo. Again, there's 22 colors, but you wouldn't think so. Again, looking at it, it looks like there's like maybe five or six. But a lot of the colors are just... Which I'm actually not sure how I'm going to handle now. And I'll tell you in a minute. But a lot of the colors are just to highlight that highlight her or to, to the, the, um, the actual definition in her, you know her neck or in her strap and her hand so let me show you up close first I don't know why but for any of you Disney fans out there she reminds me of for whatever reason um, Ursula you know when Ursula became a used her powers and became a lady and tried to steal the prince away from Ariel at the wedding and everything. I don't know. Secretly, I just again, I I was always my favorite. I was always Ursula, and I always was loved her even more when she turned. I, she went as the the human to try to steal the prince. I was like, go Ursula. <laughs> But that, for whatever reason, she reminds me of that. Anyways, that's beyond the point. So, I don't know how I'm going to handle doing this. Um, because, like, I, um, if you'd seen... Uh, again, I love referencing referencing my own work. Narcissist much, Chris? Uh, but if you've seen my chicken lady... Or, or I should say, uh, the lady who was holding the chicken video. Where I had a custom of that pop art done. I had to change a lot of... Um, how I did around her skin, and or I should say, you know, to define it more. And I might do that here because they have a lot of colors just thrown in here. I think maybe to give it that definition of like with her, how to make her hands out and everything. Instead of just using a pure black just to outline everything, they're throwing a, a couple other little colors in there. I don't know if I'm going to do that or not. I have to, it depends on when I start working on it, what I'm going to do. Even over here with the background over here, they have so, for some reason like a, this peachy kind of color. I don't know why that's there. I don't think that's necessary. So I might just, you know, add an extra line of black or white. Well, not white, but there's too much white already. Uh, I might add some black down to give her an extra line or two of hair, you know. Uh, again, this is definitely something where I'm going to have to sit and think, okay, what can I do to make this just a little bit better? Like this white in her face over there. There's a couple whites there. I don't know. I don't think that really needs it. I think her just her skin color should be, a, you know, that's just my thought on it. My throat is bothering me so much today, you all. You know, I've been, I did one other video before this. And I'm on about 25 minutes now. So I've been talking for about an hour. And even though I'm drinking water. I've drinking a whole glass of water almost. My throat hurts so badly. Okay, so here we have one, two, three, four, five, six bags of the white. And on the end we have a little brown. So again, we have lots of little bags because you're only going to use a few of these diamonds on the painting. Looks like a dark brown, uh, blue. That doesn't look black to me. No, I don't think that's black. Pretty pink color. Uh, 
Okay. Well, I guess that pink color is actually her skin tone. Wow. That's really pink. F12. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I have to use that color, but this is her skin color. That's like a baby pink. I don't know. Again, I, I'm going to have to do it, but we'll see. You can't judge it till it's done, right guys? Okay. Where did my little labels go? Oh, here they are. And there we have it. I think I gave you all the information. Again, 40 by 40. Full round. Pop art style. And it was 625. Now, here is the last one. This is a 45 by 85. And it was, it's a full round. Now, I think it's a full round because I, if I, what I'm looking at, how it, well, I shouldn't say that. Maybe, I don't know. I assumed it was a, actually, I don't know what to think. You know what? A second. I hate to be rude, but I'm taking a vitamin C drop because my throat is hurting so bad. Now, this was one of the, if you want to say risks, although I don't, it's not really a risk because the size, again, it's a 45 by 85. So I knew the, um, the artwork itself would be fine because it's larger, but it didn't have a mock-up of what it looks like. And not only that, the description of where it was under it said special shapes so i wasn't sure if this was going to be a full rhinestone or not now and i'm not sure still because i haven't obviously i haven't opened it i haven't looked at the drills i can't see them now i do see there are that so that means there's going to be a special shapes in here. So that's also something else to keep in mind and look out for. Now, you might just have a handful of special shape drills in your canvas and everything else might be per why not might be regular round drills, but they'll classify it as a special shaped canvas. Even if there are only a handful of special shapes in it. So you have to keep that in mind. And that's what I was kind of wondering myself. Because again, in the description box, it said rhinestones. And it was listed as special shape. So we'll see. Again, it's 45 by 85. Um, and this was 1575. Which by for this size, again, that's a great price. This is why I, and I, there's tons more that I've seen large canvases on this site and on DIYGigital.com and other sites where they have large canvases for really good price and they're really great pieces of art. So keep that in mind too. Just because these are budget sites, that doesn't mean you're only going to find if you're interested in larger canvases, you're only going to find 30 by 40s. No, you can find larger sizes like this too. And for a very affordable price. So, just with all that said, now I'll tell you what this is before I even show it to you. Because they list this as a hippocampus. And for all those who might not know, 
that basically means is the technical term or the more scientific term for seahorse. So I've always wanted a seahorse and to do and I've never had one and finally I was able to find a canvas that I really liked and here it is. No peeking, no peeking. Gotta do quick, 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 quick. Oops, I got a little stick. Okay. So let's see what we have here. Again, they gave us two toolkits because it's a larger canvas. A lot of times they, these companies send two toolkits for a larger canvas. Now I'm going to take this over here and roll it backwards. So as we can see from the bag of diamonds, now the other side I do see some special shapes. Now these are regular rounds, so it is not a rhinestone. Um, I'm okay with that for this one. Like I said, with the roses one from earlier, I would have preferred that to be a rhinestone. And again, I don't remember if I thought it was or not. That's long gone anyways. Out of the picture. That We're talking about this. So, But with this one, I don't mind if this is a, which it is, a round. Um, but I would have probably been happy if it had been a rhinestone too. Although I don't know how it would have come out. Rhinestones are very tricky. You can always see, you can see some canvases that you, you are pictures that with, for a rhinestone, uh, and you'll be like, ooh, that looks hard, that's going to look horrible as a rhinestone, but it turns out looking great. Because you think, oh, there's too much detail. How's that going to turn out? No. And the opposite can be true. You can think that, you know what, that's going to look great as a rhinestone. There's not too much detail. It's defined. And it turns out to be just eh, not great. So you never really know with rhinestones. So like I said, I decided to take a chance with this order as I did with the roses and I did with this one to see what it would look like. Okay, so here, this one did not have a mock-up. Oh, I'm stuck again. Okay. Again, this is 1575. That is a great price. Look at how good this looks. And look at the detail. So now as we can see, let's take out. I, I think that's where it's the sticky is getting caught. So we have here, 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 here. In his head up there, over here, around his body, and then in here, and we have some in here. You'll see up close, those are the two special shaped drills there are. The, yep, there are two special shaped drills. There's tw 22 regular colors and two specials. And again, it's kind of crazy because you think, wow, look at this, it, you, it have a whole lot more colors. No, there's only 22. And with this one, I could see some rhinestones being added into the water. And ABs maybe in the water and stuff. Possibly somewhere in him, but I'm not sure. I'd have to give that a think. Um, so let's check it. Very sticky, very sticky, very nice. So what do you all think? Let's measure him. Seven, yep, oh, wow. Oh, no, oh, I'm sorry. Yep, it's just, it's about 79 and a half. So let's just say 79. 79 by 40. Okay. Um...
we have symbols one through seven and some letter and letters. Um, they uh, they do look like they avoid things like eight and B. There is no eight, but there's a B. There's no zero, but there's a C. So that's good. Some of the things are done darkly. For instance, the three in the which is black. Um, it the, of course the background's black and the three is a white, but it's not a bright white, so it is a little faint. Same thing for the one. The one is like a burgundy color, um, but the one is actually printed in white, but it's a little faint. So um, again, light pad will help it a lot. But you really can't mix it up with anything. But uh, the they are printed a little dark. Excuse me. Oops! Don't fold down. <laughs> so as we can see here, there's some where some of the special shapes are. There's lots of areas of confetti, but lots of areas of color blocking too, so you get best of both worlds. There's his face. His little snorkels. Okay. I love it. I really do. And again, I would have been happy whether it was rhinestone or this um, rounds. And I'm so glad because not I don't think they do it enough. I really wish that they would do more canvases that that incorporated regular drills and rhinestones and ABs and special shapes. Why it makes it so much better to have all of them incorporated. Lovely. Okay, now let's look at these real quick. And beautiful colors. If you're a fan of teals, there's lots of teals. So those are the regular rounds and here are our special ones. We have some half pearls and some of these beautiful red um, which picks up pinks and oranges, red um, smooth round ones. Very nice. I'm really impressed with this one. I'm so happy with this. Really, I am. There. Oh, just gorgeous. Definitely of all of the three, four of them, my favorite one is this one. Beautiful. So, again, there we have it. Um, I gave you the specs and everything, I think. So, th we have the seahorse once again. Oops, sorry about that. We have our pop art. We have our special shape rose. Or, excuse me, not special shape. Partial rose. 
and we have our special shape VP fowl. So, for beautiful canvases, all under $30 for all of this. How great is that? Can you do much better? I don't think so. So, <laughs> so thank you to all my v wonderful viewers for viewing, for, for my subscribers. I appreciate it. For my commentators, thank you all. I hope this um, will inspire you to go to DIYDigitalArt.com and find some stuff that you'll like there. Again, I've really been happy with what I've gotten from them to review. And I would also, again, like to thank DIY Digital Art for allowing me to do and show their canvases, to review their canvases. Um, I really love all the stuff that I've gotten from you. And I appreciate you letting me show it to my lovely viewers and trusting me to do it. Uh, again, I'm per I try to be as honest as possible. Uh, Nothing is actually wrong with anything here. I think it's all fine. I don't have an issue with the drills or the the pictures and everything. It's just personally, this was my least favorite because of the, it's not a crystal, but this will be the one I do from this batch because it'll go really fast. And I think it will look pretty, but you know. Um, and this one, the seahorse, oh, my, definitely my favorite, love it. All right, stop talking, Chris. You're going on too much. So, again, thank you all for watching. Until next time. Oh, and by the way, everything will be linked in the bottom description box. There you go. <laughs> so, again, thank you to DIY Digital Art. Many, many appreciations to you for letting me do this and to the lovely viewers of my video. Till next time, you all be safe, be happy, stay safe, and stay happy. Bye, guys.